Three, two, one. <laughs> it's a very familiar sight in a very unlikely setting. For the first time in a long time, the Tijuana River Valley has a new attraction and a new reason to check it out for yourself. I think the big important thing is that this facility will bring people into the valley. And a lot of people fought it saying the valley's polluted, you shouldn't have a campground. No, you should have a campground so that you show people the mess that needs to be cleaned up. Under the philosophy that truth dies in the dark, this new campground will serve as a spotlight on the darkest environmental disaster in American history, a disaster created by our neighbors to the south. We're getting murdered, Dan. We are getting murdered. I've coined a phrase that I call it environmental and biological terrorism on the people of the United States. From the country of Mexico, this is not any rant against the Mexican people because if we have it this bad, just imagine how they have it. Environmental terrorism, environmental crime, whatever you call it, it's the longest running environmental disaster in America, starting much earlier than most people realize. Well, one of the biggest indignities we've seen for the last 90 years, 1931 was the first year of documented sewage coming across from Mexico. It's about time we took care of it. Roosevelt in the 1930s was addressing this issue. The WPA project had an outfall for Tijuana that went down the valley to be able to stop the valley from getting polluted. So this goes down to FDR. So that's how long this has gone. And show me where else that people are treated this way in America. Outraged by what's happening in this part of America, the former mayor of Imperial Beach, Brian Bilbray, got tired of the finger pointing and took matters into his own hands decades ago. With a bulldozer and a few friends, he attempted to block the sewage and send it back to Mexico. That finally got their attention. I sent them a notice and said, we're going to dam up the Tijuana River. And I know it's not your jurisdiction because you've told us this for six months and just wanted you to know we're going to dam up this river and we're going to back it up and we'll, we'll see what happens. They all came out of the woodwork when it was a chance to be able to arrest a young mayor. I was 29 years old. At age 70, Bill Bray is still battling for environmental justice and the people of the South Bay. This new attraction could serve as more than a campground. It could become a new breeding ground for environmental warriors. Our right to live in a clean, healthy environment is just as much a right as any other American. And the days of being treated as a second-class citizen need to come to an end. Tijuana River Valley is one of the most valuable wetland areas in the United States. And finally, I think we're getting people to realize that we got to do more things to save it. One way to get more people to want to save it is to get more people actively involved in, in certainly having this campground opening up, I think, is going to help do that. We hear this buzzword all the time, environmental justice. You and I both know there is no justice down here. And speaking of environmental justice, there is $300 million waiting to address this problem right now, sitting in the pocket of the EPA, but not a single penny has been spent as of yet. That money was approved during the Trump administration, and apparently it has hit the reset button during the Biden administration. Of course, that would just collect the poop and clean it. It wouldn't solve the actual problem. Solving the actual problem on the Mexico side would require something very simple. It's called recycle and and reuse. Baja is going through a drought right now and simply by putting in a recycling plant it would solve two problems. Their water problem and our pollution problem. As Greg Cox says, the studies are over. It is time to get to work. We're in the Tijuana River Valley. Dan Plants, KUSI News.